I have a couple straightforward con uh, concepts for you here to be start chapter four. A uh, little bit tricky. This is page 22 in our workbook. Okay, it would be 4-1. But if you look at your textbook, this is actually section 4-2. So this is one of the things that they changed in our newest edition of this workbook, unfortunately. Okay, but number theory and fractions. So what are we talking about? Well, the first thing we're talking about is factors. Now, you know the word factor because you know that's part of a multiplication problem. And it's, that's exactly what factors are. So if I give you a number like uh, 22 and ask you to list the factors. Okay, now, what usually happens is when I say list the factors, students aren't real certain what's going on. But then if I start to do something like this, and I make what they call the little rainbows, like, oh, yeah, factors, I remember that. So what are all of the things that can be multiplied together to get this product, right? So 11, 1, times 22, 1 times 22 is 22, 2 times 11 is 22. That's listing the factors. What's the best way to get a comprehensive list of factors? So let's say I start with 100. The way I like to write them is I start and say, does one go into this? And then obviously one will go into all of the numbers. And then I go, will two go in? Yes, two goes into 150 times. Now we talked a little bit earlier this year about divisibility rules. Um, they can come up again. So does three go into this? Well, no, if I add one, zero, and zero, it's not something divisible by three. Does four go into it? Yep, four goes in 25 times. 5 goes in 20 times. Uh, 6 doesn't go in because 3 didn't go in. 7 doesn't. 8, does 8 go in? Nope. Does 9 go in? Yep. No, or nope. Does 10 go in? Yep. 10 times 10 is 100. So these are all the factors of this number. Now, that's step 1. Step 2 for this would be if I were writing prime factorization. All right, what's prime factorization? Well, the first thing is, what does prime mean? Prime is a number that is divisible, is divisible by only, I can't spell, only one and itself. That's a prime number. So now one is not prime or composite because one is itself, okay? So a number that's only divisible by one and itself, okay? So examples of prime numbers are things like two and three and five and seven and 11 and 13. So if you're asked to write the prime factorization, you're going to make one of these cute little factor trees where if I started with 30, 30 can break up into six times five. Good news, five is on my, on my prime list, but six is not. So I'm going to break up two, six, into two times three. I still have that five, so my prime factorization for 30 is two times three times five. I'm just gonna do one more example and then we're done. Let's do 100 again. Okay, I could break up 100 a couple different ways, but I'm still going to get the same prime factorization. So I could do 10 times 10, I could do 25 times four. But guess what happens? If I break up 10 into 2 times 5, and I break up 25 into 5 times 5, and 4 into 2 times 2, I get 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 for my prime factorization for both of those. Okay? We can look at this a little bit more tomorrow. That is page 22, 4-1 in your workbook.